Hey, we're Whiskey Fancies. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. And today we are doing a, what is it? Um, fancy blinders? There you go! <laughs> I remember. <laughs> okay, so what we have is samples that was sent to us from a really good friend of ours, Jack, and I'm not gonna shout any more than that because otherwise people are gonna be sliding those DMs asking for these samples. Yeah. So, we love you, Jack. We appreciate what you do for us. Thank you, Jack. Um, we don't know what these are. We just poured them in the same order for each other to test, but we completely taped over what the written label was. What we have is E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof 2020, Old Fitz Nine Year, and also Parker's Heritage Ooh. Heavy Char. Oh, really? I'm excited. Yes. Now we have tasted these before once. This is a small little sample. I don't remember exactly. We were blown anything. away by all of them. Like, yeah. we're like, oh my God, why don't we have these? in our life. Yeah, we want to try to see what one we love the most. Exactly. And are they worth the chase for yeah. that price? Some of these bottles are kind of pricey. The Parker's yeah. Heritage is about $3.99? That's secondary, but that's what oh, you're okay. going to see. If they're sitting on the store shelf, that's what they're going to be usually in the sitting in the stores. This has less um, than peanut on Otherwise, the I believe they're $129 or something like that. No more than $150 MSRP, I believe. Well, even without taste Still. them, I think I would buy them at $129. That's just okay, so which one are you gonna go with first? I'm gonna go I'm left just, to right. I'm just nosing all of them right now. Um, You're just loving life. I'm loving life over She's here. She's loving life. I'm gonna when go with When someone left. pours you free fantastic whiskeys, gotta love life. Okay. This smells very, I smell fruits. Do you? Mm -hmm. I smell earth, that's so weird. I, I don't know. I don't wanna pour I it into fruit. my nose, but I smell Kind of earth. like a, uh, not dark fruits, but raisin for some weird reason that I normally okay. get on a scotch. I want you to smell that one later. There's something special. To That's my my far right one. Yeah. Well, I'm going left to right. I so want I you will to get there eventually. Talk to me when you get to the third one. When I get to the end of my cul-de-sac, I'll swing back. It sounds great. There you go. Yeah, I'm I'm getting fruit like dark fruit. Can right? I smell yours? I'm not nosing anything over here. These are a little bit harder. Okay, so we have some new sample glasses. They're super cute. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how they're working well they nose, nose but this is the first time. I thought they were worth a try. Let's just bring out the big A game with these new glasses, right? Why not? Why not? Let's do it. All right. Oh, that's fantastic. That's really good. Do you get dark cherry right in the metallic? I yes, but I smelled fruit like dark fruit. I didn't right smell any fruit. It smelled nose. earthy to me at first. But there's a Ooh. strong, dark, dried cherry right in the middle. That is amazing. I like that. Oh, now I get the this cherry on delicious. the nose. Isn't that funny? Now that after I've tasted mm. it, now I can smell that. Mm -hmm. that's, oh, that's funny. I, it's very oh. fruit forward Ooh, on the nose. That's for nice. me. Like That's the only thing I could pick out. I couldn't smell that before, and now I can smell it. It, it could be these little, this little is, glasses. Go, it goes to show you that a lot of uh, nosing and taste is, they complement each other, and if you can't smell, you can't really taste this it. This is really good. Very well. I don't know what it is. I uh, I would I buy know. this. Maybe I just need to pour more whiskey. Yeah. Into okay, this we do know for sure that these I'm are about one. Okay. Yeah, I'm still on one. I'll wait for you. Go ahead, finish your thought. If you were to find it at MSRP, I think the cheapest one would be the E. H. Taylor Barrel, Barrel Proof. It's supposed to be a hundred bucks, right? If but you're not gonna Never find seen that it before that. You're not life. going to find that. Unless you're in a controlled state and you've got that hookup with whoever the manager is of that store just holding in the back for you. Even though they're not supposed to do that, you know what happens. Hmm. But otherwise, I believe the Parker Heritage and the Old Fitz 9 are around comparable to the same price. They're both Heaven Hill too. They are. This they are. I, I can't really, these things are kind of hard actually. Yeah. To try to pick I, out. I think it, I don't know if it's because we have such a small amount of whiskey. Yeah. Or because of the shape but of it. But there's a for our tiny little hand. They're so cute. I mean, that's just the baby's quiet. Okay. Mm. I love it. I smell oak on this one. I get a little bit of grassy, like, not grass, green grass, but like, uh, I smell dry oak grass and or hay. Sugar, but like a brown. A brown. A brown sugar. Brown. For lazy people that doesn't just want to talk and. Full sentences. Is that burnt, brown? Burnt, burnt brown sugar. It's browned. Yep. I get a little bit. This is bit the ABCs of, in my vocabulary. I do get the soft oak after you 
say it. Yeah, huh? And a little bit of um, brown sugar. I don't know if it's these these glasses, uh, but they're kind of well, soft on the nose. We'll just have to keep drinking, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna figure it out. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh my! I'm here for that. Oh, you like that? Tell but, me what you think it tastes okay, like. Okay, I'm confident this is a Heaven Hill. I don't know between the two. This is definitely a Heaven Hill. It has that nuttiness that I, my palate perceives as nutty, that you don't. It's dusty, um, I think it's dusty peanut shell, and you think it's nut nutty. Yeah. It tastes like, like dusty peanut shell. Roasted shells. peanuts. No, it tastes like the shell. Dry roasted peanuts. Oh, I like this one a lot. But, I think that's my flavor profile that's your, that's that your, I tend to lean for towards. Oh, okay. So you like Heaven Hill? I actually think this. I, I pick it out all the time. I don't understand. Yeah, it's do. it's a certain flavor that they have in there that my palate just like oh, winner winner. And I think it's their char. I wonder if this is a heavy char. Cause oh. I do get that scent. That is a heavy char or bourbon? The Parker's Hair Exchange. I think no. Is it rye? It just says Parker's Heritage Heavy Char. I believe it's the rye. We'll find. Uh... Yes, we got this before the bourbon came out. Oh. So okay, it's there the you go. It's the rye. This doesn't taste like it, right? I don't think because I don't think that's what it is. I could be wrong. Oh, I'm. It's, I just got that char okay. on it that I'm totally down for. I don't know what anything is. I like that one. Okay. I don't dislike that, but that's got more towards my flavor profile. Okay. When I first noticed glass three, I thought three. it taste. I think I thought it smelled like um Ooh. peanuts, like a lot. No, I get a. It's changed since we got. I no, back. it's very um caramely. I don't smell caramel at all. Mm. Yours has a little tinge sweetness. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Swirl it a little bit. Okay. Give it the swirl treatment. Hmm. It has more of a. Okay, that does. A caramel on this to it. it. That's weird. Mm -hmm. That makes a difference. It does. Okay, it has a caramel right in, right in the front. Okay, this does too. Now that it's been sitting a little bit. Mm hmm. But something else. This is just. Ooh. Yeah, that is phenomenal. Okay. That's the heavy char. Right. I'm not gonna say that. It's phenomenal. Mm. No? I think this is the heavy char. Just something my spidey senses. This is more of a char that flavor to me because this has that roasted peanuts, mm -hmm. but like a honey roasted peanuts. Mm -hmm. This is the dry roasted peanuts, like it's more intense. These these two right here are definitely that's, the Heaven Hill. That's hard. These two yeah, are these are related. These have to be the these Heaven Hill. These are related. Hill. This one's this different. one is not like the other. So uh, that means this is the old bit. The far left has to be the E.H. Taylor Hill fruit. It has to be. Oh, I forgot that was. Yeah. These two are like distant cousins. I have that same note I've that never, I'm getting on both. I've now. never gotten dark Maybe I'm cherry crazy. on a Buffalo Trace product before. It's very dark fruit. Mm. Um. It's got wood in it. I don't want to drink any more of these because it's, I'm almost out. And I don't samples. Know, I don't know what I like. I can definitely see the hype behind every one of these bottles. Okay, I would secondary never, hype. I never no. right. I never would That's chase. Stupid. I won't chase a bottle. No. I, there's just so much amazing bourbon. I'm not going to chase it. However, if you come across any of these, that is not yeah. astronomical. Will, it, will mm -hmm. I pay a little above MSRP for yeah. any of these? Probably. Because that's what you're going to have with, to do anyway. Right. This but is within, reality. within reason. I'm not mm -hmm. going to spend a car payment on whiskey. No. That's not what I'm going to do. But car, these are car phenomenal. payments are a lot more expensive now these, are, these, these terms. Okay, this is super okay. um, nutty mm -hmm. and oaky. Today, that's right there. Okay. The middle and the right. Related. They, they are definitely related. They have that same palette of what I perceive as... Can I have some more of your water? I drank all mine. Thank you. 
I'm just gonna drink the whiskey and you drink the water. Good? Mm -hmm. Is that a good trade? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I tried. You almost had me. I tried. Mm -hmm. Um, how would you rate it though? Oh. This is hard. Oh, I learned a technique from ADHD whiskey. Mm -hmm. What do you guys, oh, do I like this? Yes, mm. but do I like this more? No, I like that one. And that's how he can up and down rank them. Thanks for the tip, mm -hmm. Matt. This is true. I love this one. Mm. Do I like this one more than I like this one? That's the trick. Yeah. I like this one. God. Okay. These ones are, these two are close. Which ones, what number are those? Two and three. One and two? Two and three. Two and three. There's, this three is very well-rounded. Can I have that? That's number one. Can I have the water again? Yeah, there you go. I'm just gonna keep it right here because oh. you're a lush for water and I'm just a lush for whiskey. This is number one. Okay, we're going this way, okay. Sorry, we're going the English how you read. Viewers will understand we're going backwards so we don't confuse ourselves. I'm always backwards in life anyway, so. Oh, that's really good though. They're all good. That's really amazing. They're all good in their own different uniqueness. Okay. Okay. I got my last play. Okay. How close are you? I, I think they're already arranged in, in place for me, to be honest. Are you serious? I'm you like serious. One, two, three? I do. Okay. I do. I think the second one, which I, I think it might be the Parker's, it's got, because I'm totally there for that, that char, that heaviness, I feel that it's more down my wheel well. <laughs> old Fist, I believe this is Old Fist. I'm gonna die on that sword. It's really, really good, but it's a little bit more softer. And I don't know if it's because it's what I perceive as the Parker's heritage to be that stand out where my palate just seeks out and just sits and loves that. I'm going what I think. Now, okay, I'm going to this, not trying to guess what it is, but because my brain just kind of clicked that Heaven Hill and Parker's are very similar. Okay. You can tell that they're very similar. I'm ranked. They're, they're already there. So you're me. one, two, three? Yeah. I'm one, two, but three. But on any given day, I could flip the. I could second flip third. the first and second depending on my mood because they're they're not they're not the same. I could flip two and three. These are so close. Yeah, but see the third one for me, it's it's nice, but compared to the second one, now. it's more. It's that char that I. It has to be the char, and if it's not that char, and it's the old fist nine, well, either way, I'm screwed because I'm not gonna be able to. Okay, get so the there's bottle, only so. three. So yeah, let's. I'm ready for my. The, are you ready to start on to start revealing? Let's reveal it. Go get it. Yeah. So you reveal your third place, and it's gonna be my second place, and then we're gonna go for the winner. It took a minute, but we got there together. I don't know what there was besides. It was the old Fitz Nine that I completely tore off the label. The label. You put the old Fitz Nine last. Is yeah, that what you said it was? Old Fitz, you can see it. Is that what you said it was? I thought it was this one. Wow, nice palette. Well, I mean, it's the he it's either the heavy char or the E.H. Taylor, e. Taylor Bell. Wow. Bell so let's. So you have number one for number one for both of us. Mm -hmm. I'm nervous that it's gonna rip off no, this guess. label, and we will never know what this is. And we use painter's tape too. Mm -hmm. What do you think that is? The first one? Yeah. I thought it was E.H. Taylor. You were friggin' good. Really? That's E.H. Taylor. <laughs> Isn't that what that says? Yeah, that is. It's the 2020 It's the EH 2020 Taylor. EH Taylor. Okay. Wow, that's no, 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 phenomenal. No. You can't say I'm good only because clearly since we have not unwrapped it, we already know this is a heavy char. The Parkers I'm and the Old sure. Fitz, you could tell they're very similar. They had that same note. Not similar in complete all-around profile, but they had that distinct Heaven Hill flavor. This is double rye. It's a rye. Wow. It did I not taste like that a rye to me. I didn't get that spiciness at That's all. Crazy. There was so much barrel influence with an almost like a yeah. the Heaven Hill nuttiness. I didn't get that. I, I, I didn't all. taste that it was rye. I thought it was bourbon. Okay, urban. so I have a confession mm. to make. Now this might not be. This is totally um, presumptuous fine. and prejudiced on my part. 
I've only had E.H. Taylor's small batch, and mm. I didn't care for it at all. It's okay. It's good for the what it is. I, the first time I had it, I didn't care for it at all. It's good for so what it is. So I had super low expectations mm -hmm. for E.H. Taylor Barrel Proof, and I didn't really understand why people are chasing it. But the dry cherry I got mm. off of that was yeah. awesome. It was very um, fruit forward to me on the nose yeah. and on the palate with like the dark fruit. That was but it also fun. had that nice oak on an even balance. So nothing was very overpowering. Yeah, it was super yeah. balanced. It was balanced. Yeah, 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 yeah. I but there was something it. about that Parker's Heritage Heavy Char. When I first had I a little, that. little taste of Parker Heritage, I mm. thought that was going to be my new favorite. It was so good. Mm. Wow. E.H. Taylor, bear proof. That's a, that's a yeah. header. Wow. And good news for us. Never gonna find it. Never gonna find Never it. Never gonna find it. Good news! <laughs> While it's safe. Well, I guess I'm good. See you guys. <laughs>